Hello everyone, Dr. Brandon Buttry here in the Adjusting Zone, going over treating symptoms versus identifying and correcting the underlying cause. If we look at my hand here, what we've done is we've rigged up some rubber bands on this hand. Now the hand is still functional, yes? Hand is still functional, but is it fully functional? That would be no. Now, these have been on my hand for quite a while here, which is why my fingertips are starting to turn blue because they are not getting good blood flow. Now, a medical doctor may look at this and say, well, we're not getting good blood flow to the fingertips. Let's go ahead, have you take this pill. What this pill's gonna do is it's gonna change the chemistry in your body in such a way that we're going to get that blood to flow to those fingertips better. Okay, sounds great. And how long do I have to be on that pill? Well, for as long as you want your fingertips to get blood. A chiropractor might look at this same situation and say, why? Why is the blood not getting to the fingertips? The medical doctor may ask what, the chiropractor is going to ask why. DC stands for doctor of chiropractic, but I think it also stands for doctor of cause. What's the cause here? Well, we have some restriction of the fingers clamping off of blood vessels because of these rubber bands. So why are the fingertips not getting blood? Well, because of the constriction. What is the underlying cause? Restriction from the rubber bands. And how do we correct the underlying cause? we remove the interference. And as we start to remove that interference, number one, we're going to start to become more functional. Now I can tighten up my tie with this hand. I could probably write on a whiteboard if I needed to. I could shake somebody's hand, but it's not fully functional yet not fully functional. It's getting there, it's getting better, but there's still some of this underlying cause that we have to address. And so, just like with chiropractic, this takes repetition. We must continue to work at this, continue to work at the underlying cause, and then, whew, feel that blood flow. Beautiful. Fully functional, same as the other side, can do anything with this hand, it is at 100%. Now, in the chiropractic realm, we are looking to correct the underlying cause of many issues that the body will face and experience. And what is that underlying cause? A chiropractor will check the spinal column, any areas of the spine where a bone vertebra is misaligned, stuck, not moving, and causing, and this is the key point here, causing irritation to the nerves that come out from the spine we've identified the underlying cause because why? The nerves feed all the other tissues in the body. Every other tissue, muscle, gland, even organs, yes, organs, have a nerve supply. And if you were to open up a body, grab a kidney, follow those nerves that are plugging into that kidney, follow those nerves, where are those nerves coming from? Where are they coming from? Where do you think you'd end up you would end up at the spinal column. 99% of the time, if a nerve is dysfunctioning, the problem is at the spinal column. How many people out there do you think are walking around with tight, sore, stiff spines that maybe don't even have too much pain or too many symptoms, but I assure you if I laid them down on a table and did a thorough chiropractic examination, pushed on the ends of those vertebrae, they'd go, ow, ooh. Man, that's sore. I didn't know that was there. Man, I, I laid on your roller table in there. Man, that thing hurt me. Well, what does that tell you? That tells you something in there is not right. That is your underlying cause. We take pressure off the nerves. When the body has no interference to the nerve system, the master system, it can heal itself. Seems like common sense, but it's not so common in today's world because we're looking for a quick fix. We're looking for immediate gratification. We don't wanna do anything that might require a little repetition. But let me tell you, 
especially as it goes with chiropractic. The repetition will pay off because we're addressing the underlying cause, the underlying concern. We're unleashing the power of the nerve system. When your nerve system is working at 100% consistently, you are going to feel better, you're going to function better, you're going to breathe better, you're going to sleep better, you're going to have more energy. Am I treating asthma? No. We're simply addressing the underlying cause to get those nerves to those tissues working better. And many times, a person's symptoms, asthma, will improve. If you have any questions about chiropractic, how the nerve system works, what chiropractic can do to help you or any loved ones or anyone that you know, feel free to give us a call here at One Health Chiropractic. We are dedicated to educating, adjusting, and transforming as many people in the world as we effectively can. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.